Okay, you're now looking at the new version of the burnishing embossing reed shaping tool here. It has a wooden handle and a high carbon tempered steel blade that is custom shaped for working on harmonica reeds. And what it allows you to do, it's it's very it's a very smooth polished blade that is curved and it's it's not really a blade it's not sharpened like a knife blade it's it's it is a burnishing tool and what it but it, it allows you to go from a very thin fine edge that's still polished and smooth to a broader edge so depending on how you move the tool it allows you to put pressure on reeds or slots in a variety of fashions to, to and you can hold it like a pencil and aim it down like this for closing the end of the slot you can use it this way for closing for embossing the middle part of a slot and i will show you in more detail what you can do with this tool here we go i take the new burnishing tool and i have it curved this way and then holding it more like pencil I bring it to the end of this slot and close it up Once you find that angle, that tool closes that up with very little pressure or effort. And then you can use the rest, the, the, the middle part of the curved tool, if you like, to close up one side at a time and finish the embossing process on the reed. All right, now the next thing you can do with this tool is bring reeds down close to the reed plate to improve the overall shape of the reed. Now, this reed that I'm that you're looking at is on the other side of the reed plate. I'm pushing it into the slot and you can see there is a gap at the end where it's attached with the rivet. That's what I'm going to work on. So now we're going to work on that reed on the side that we saw. I put a support underneath the reed to keep it from going into the slot as I work and now I'm using this tool so I can approach the reed and that curved surfaces allow me the curved surface of the burnisher allows me to begin to put pressure on the reed and then I'm turning it and just once again this is a matter of learning by feel but what you can do is you can gradually bring this part of the of the reed closer to the reed plate in a controlled fashion so what i'm doing is i, I put the i put this on the reed plate itself and then i slide it over to the reed and then i can work it work the leverage against the reed and work at clo at bringing the reed closer to the reed plate at the end of the slot. This is the reed I just worked on. Now I'm going to use this tool to push the reed into the slot while we watch. As you can see, it's considerably closer to the reed plate than it was before we worked on it. As I push it into the slot, 
it's in pretty nice shape so with a little bit more see I could close the end of that slot even more this area right here with one more pass using it just right at the uh, at the very end of the slot the other thing you can do once you get it to this point is to use the reed shaper tool one of my other tools and then if you've gone too deep into the slot you can put your finger on the back of the reed and use this tool to push the reed back in the other direction and continue working it until you have a reed that is entering the slot as flat as possible. 